Hey guys, welcome to the first Tutorial Tuesday of 2016. Today I am going to show you how to play a cool thing. It's going to be a finger style rhythmic pattern with thumb slapping in a, a triple meter. By the end of this tutorial you'll be able to play something like this. So we'll break this down. Before you uh, watch this video, you should uh, watch my first video. Uh, it was my first, one of my first tutorials I made on basic thumb slapping. I'll put a link to that somewhere. That kind of goes over the basics and some of the mechanics of how you do the slap. So for triple meter, it's really uh, fun to write in, in triple meter. It kind of has a, a fun um, kind of driving rhythm. And so basically instead of being in four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're in three. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, 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 and so on and so forth. So let's get started. first let's learn the chords that I'm playing here. I'm just focusing on the basically the bottom four strings. So the E, A, D, and G strings. Those are the only ones that I'm playing here. And I'm doing a walk down uh, pattern from G, then going through a, sort of a, a D chord, but has F sharp in the bass, and then the E minor, and then back up. So just three chords. The first chord is G, and I'm just putting my ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and then the fourth and third string are open. Then the next chord is uh, a D with an F sharp in the bass. And so what I'm doing here is I'm putting my middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string, and then I'm playing open on the fifth and fourth string, and then my ring finger's on the second fret of the third string. Okay, and then the third chord is E minor, and that uh, I'm just moving my fingers, basically squeezing them together. So now they're next to each other. So I'm playing open on the sixth string, and then second fret of the fifth string with my middle finger, and second fret of the fourth string with my ring finger. And then open on the third string. So if you play those together, you should get... Okay, on that middle chord you can wrap your thumb around and play that second fret with your thumb. It's another option. Okay, so those are the chords. So let's go over the pattern here. It's going to go like this. Okay, so the way it starts is I'm going to play the bass note, the sixth string, with my thumb. And then after that, I'm going to play the other three strings, strings five, four, and three together. Okay, I'm going to play those uh, three strings together twice. Okay, once you've got that, next up comes the slap. And so once again, I'm flicking my thumb against the strings, I'm also flicking out my index finger. That's that motion. And you have to be careful, you don't want to flick your fi it takes a little bit of practice because you don't want to just strum all the strings. You don't want to hear all of those, so you gotta kind of just, you're kind of just flicking it halfway, if I can explain it. So you flick and extend. Try that with me. Okay, once you've got that, you're going to flick back up with your index finger. So I'm picking up back towards me. So to practice that together. And 
I just noticed that I'm kind of muting these three strings after the first time I play them together. So I'm playing. I put my fingers back on them so they mute. So that you get that. Instead of. It's kind of optional, but it kind of makes it punch a little bit more. So that's, that's actually the whole pattern there. And then the next chord. The next chord. I'm just doing the pattern twice. Okay, uh, and then after that you can experiment basically and try different things. You don't have to play all three together. You can do maybe instead of instead maybe instead of playing all three together the first time maybe you'll play the third string and the second time you'll play the fourth string. So instead of maybe you'll play which would sound like this. you could do something else, uh, maybe reverse it. So instead of three, then four, you could play four, then three. And then, and then you can start doing little embellishments in between the chords, like doing some hammer-ons and pull-offs on the G chord, um, that second fret of the fifth string. Sometimes it's fun to do. That's kind of a fun pattern. There's a hammer on on the fourth string. I use this triple meter in a lot of the songs that I've written. Um, Meteor Shower and Science are two of them. In Science, I do a... And then there's an A chord at the end. So you can do a lot of cool things uh, with this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please let me know uh, if there's anything else that you guys would like to learn. And best of luck. Take care.